What's up everybody, my name is Fritz and welcome to the channel. So the consensus is in. After we made the video covering the six common issues associated with the N55 engine, so many of you commented saying that number seven should be the oil filter housing gasket. And although mine is holding up just fine in the M235i, this X3 cannot say the same thing. So we're gonna be using it in our example of how to change out the oil filter housing gasket. And as a bonus, we're even gonna include how to change out the oil cooler gasket. And although this is the older 2014 variant of the N55 engine, the steps that we're gonna go through today are gonna be applicable for those of you even with the newer N55 engine. And this is the point in time that we wanna change it when it's starting to show signs of failure, but not at the point where it's starting to let out major amounts of oil. So with that said, let's change out this gasket and get this N55 engine back to optimal running conditions. Start by loosening the oil filter cap and allow the oil to drain. Then remove the engine cover and air filter. On the newer N55s, this is much easier. On these versions, there are several T25s and rubber grommets securing the air box into place. Once it's removed, we can disconnect our sensor and wiring bracket. So we have access to all the 10 millimeter nuts and bolts that secure the intake manifold. Here you'll definitely need a socket extension in order to reach all of the nuts. For hard to reach nuts, try grabbing them with a magnetic bit like this. And as you move towards the front, it gets progressively easier. Now that we're back at the front, place a bucket or catch underneath and use something like a plastic bag to guide the fluid down into your catch. Afterwards, use a pick tool to disengage the hose lock before removing the coolant hose and placing it off to the side. As the coolant drains, remove the three E12 bolts holding in the oil cooler before pulling it apart. And clean up any oil and coolant before placing it off to the side. We also have to detach the oil pressure sensor before removing the three E10 bolts that hold in the oil filter housing. The one at the top is the longest and easiest to get to. In order to get to the next one, we have to loosen the intake manifold, and this is the medium sized bolt. The last one, which is also the shortest, is at the bottom front. And here you'll need to use an 8mm ratchet. The reason why we remove this one last is because the bolt will run out of space. So we need to pull up on the housing as we remove the bolt. Now 
Here are the three bolts for comparison. With the housing out, we can remove the gasket and clean the area before placing in the new gasket. If your gasket didn't come out in one piece, you'll want to spend some extra time in the cleanup process. When placing in the new gasket, you don't want to force it. Just let it fall into place before gently pressing it in. Now we can bring back in the housing, but before we connect anything, we want to make sure that the area is clean of any dirt or oil. And the first bolt that we're going to bring in is our E10 bolt at the bottom. And as we did with the removal of this bolt, you'll have to adjust the height of the housing as you're threading in this bolt. Once it's in hand tight, place in the long top bolt before going after the bolt behind the intake manifold. Once all of them are hand tight, go ahead and torque them down to 22 Newton meters. And the bottom one can be a little bit hard to get to. So just use the 8mm wrench if you need to and go hand tight without excessive force. Then reconnect and lock in your coolant hose before securing in the oil cooler by its three E12 bolts which get 16 Newton meters. Don't forget to push back in your intake manifold before securing it with the 10 millimeter bolts and nuts, all of which get 15 Newton meters. Reattach your wiring bracket and reconnect your sensors. Time to place back in your air intake and ensure the mounting tabs are all engaged. If your coolant indicator isn't outside, look inside and you should see something like this. Top it off with a 50-50 mix of BMW coolant. Then place back on the engine cover and torque the oil filter cap to 25 Newton meters. And just like that, we've changed out the oil cooler gasket as well as the oil filter housing gasket on your BMW. And if you want less fluids to worry about coming from those lines at the top, you could pair this with an oil change or a coolant flush. But if you have any additional questions, please leave it down in the comment section. And while you're there, if you need any of the resources that we use in this video, it's going to be in the description links. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. And I'll see all of you in the next one.